So what does the future hold for the YouTube channel? Uh, I do know it sounds dramatic. Thankfully, I didn't have any losses in the fish, but I did seriously consider giving up the hobby and selling everything up. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my channel. Now it's been quite a while since I've posted a video. We're coming up to 50 days. I can't believe how quickly that time has gone and you guys deserve an explanation as to what has been happening with the channel, what the future holds for the channel, and what I've been doing, what was my reason for uh, taking a break from YouTube. Now I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase as to why I stopped producing YouTube videos, and that was because I got a dog. And obviously with getting the dog, my schedule changed, and I didn't have enough time to produce the weekly content that you guys had become accustomed to, and I apologize for that. And I should have let you guys know, but this was a very sudden decision. Basically, uh, when I woke up the morning, I got the dog, I had no idea by time I go back to bed that night, I'll have a dog in the house. It was a very spur of the moment decision. But I've always wanted a dog. I grew up with dogs all my life, and I'm glad I'm finally able to have a dog back in the household. But obviously something had to give. My schedule was full, uh, maintaining the fish room, editing YouTube videos. They take quite a bit of time to record and edit for you guys, obviously. Maintaining the house and having a full-time job, something had to give, and unfortunately, I had to drop the YouTube channel for a period of time until I got the dog into the routine of the household. And I feel I'm getting there now. I've had the dog for almost uh, two months now, and we're finally getting into a routine where uh, the dog is happy and I'm able to maintain the fish room. So if you're interested, I'll ex quickly explain how we got this greyhound. Uh, basically, my neighbor messaged me one morning uh, saying that there was a greyhound available on Gumtree. I saw the photos, looked cute as, and I thought I'd give the owner a call to see if the Greyhound was still available. I didn't hold much hope because the dog had been available uh, on Gumtree for a number of weeks. Uh, I believe it was almost two months at that point. Uh, I left a voicemail with the owner. Uh, they called me back within 10 minutes saying the dog was still available. Speak to my neighbor about that. And he's like, yep, let's go get it. Uh, my neighbor has a Greyhound as well, by the way. So um, I wanted to get a Greyhound because it suits my lifestyle. If you don't know, greyhounds uh, make suitable dogs for uh, people living in apartments. Contrary to popular belief, they don't need much space. They don't have much energy. Uh, they basically sleep all day long. Yes, they run very fast. They're one of the fastest animals on the planet, uh, but they sleep most of the day. Uh, so uh, you give them a bit of a run, a bit of a walk, uh, once a day, and then they'll sleep the rest of the day. They're fantastic dogs for small households. Now I don't have a small house, uh, but I've got a quite a large yard for uh, my dog to run around in. Anyway, so uh, my neighbor was like, yes, let's go. Uh, he actually drove me down to the breeder to, to, get the, to pick up the Greyhound, to check it out and pick it up. And uh, yeah, just knew the moment oh, I got there that I'll be bringing this dog back home with me. Uh, so as I said, it was very spur of the moment. We had to go to Costco, get food, uh, get a bed for it. I was really not prepared to bring this dog home uh, because like I said, I had woken up that morning not realizing I'd be bringing a dog home by that night. So uh, very spur of the moment thing, but I've wanted a dog for quite some time. So it wasn't really a surprise that I ended up with a dog. But um, on that day, I didn't expect it to happen. So obviously need to get the dog up to speed with the routine of the household. Uh, I need to learn what its routine is and, um, and, and get in, into my routine as well. Now this Greyhound is an ex-racer, so he is a rescue and um, he's three and a half years old and I was very happy to take him. Um, he's a fantastic dog, fantastic with kids, uh, fantastic with other dogs. Uh, again, contrary to popular belief, um, greyhounds generally are great with other dogs because they're raised up in a group of dogs together uh, from puppies. So they are fantastic with other dogs. And uh, I've been fortunate that he's been uh, raised up with smaller dogs as well and with children. So he's fantastic around family members and other dogs when I walk in. Now, uh, I got very lucky with this dog. Uh, he didn't come toilet train, but from the word go, he has been fantastic in the house. We have had obviously a few accidents over the last uh, six to eight weeks, um, but he's been fantastic. Uh, doesn't destroy the house. Uh, pretty much 
got into the routine of things with my household uh, from day dot and it's been amazing. He honestly has been uh, a fantastic dog and I can't believe I got him for free. Uh, and that's generally what happens with greyhounds. Uh, if they're not real good runners, they don't want to run on the track, they get up for adoption. And I really do suggest if you are looking for a dog uh, for your family, look at greyhounds. Uh, you, I can't suggest them enough to you guys. Uh, if you are after a dog that won't destroy your house, that will hardly ever bark, that are smart and loyal, and uh, extremely cute. So I'll quickly show you what he looks like right now. He is in the room with me. Uh, and um, again, we've only had him for about uh, six to seven weeks now. And you probably wouldn't have even realized he was in the room with me because they are so quiet. I've only heard him bark a handful of times. So uh, he's laying right next to me right here. So I'll pan the camera across. And here he is here, guys. This is Dozer. And uh, that was his name um, that the owner gave him. Um, it wasn't my first choice of name. I could change his name to something different, but I don't think that would be fair on a dog that's uh, three and a half years old. So, um, so to avoid confusion, especially with him being in a new home now, I thought I'd just keep the name um, and get him used to the household routine and um, used to the, his new space, his new forever home. And I didn't want to add confusion to that by changing his name as well at the same time. So uh, this is Dozer. And um, he was called that because when he was a pup, he would bulldoze all the other puppies out of the way to get um, food and milk. Now, I do think the name is still fitting because he dozes all day long. Uh, as you can see, he is having a really good rest right now, even though he slept through the entire night. And um, it's about 10 a.m. now. So basically, they sleep all day and all night. They only need very short periods of activity. And again, they are fantastic dogs for your household. You can see um, he's got a toy turtle here, a toy moose, and he's completely uh, torn the turtle to shreds. He loves taking the filling out of these guys. Hey buddy, there you go. There's Turtle for you, mate. Hey buddy. Hello. Look at the camera. Hey mate. <laughs> He's such a good boy. Uh, so docile and um, yeah, just a fantastic dog and I couldn't be happier um, with this dog. So um, yeah, it's really, really happy to have him in the house and uh, give him the best life I could possibly give him. So um, yeah, there you go. That is the main reason why I haven't been able to post videos on YouTube. Uh, basically, I just wanted to get this guy into the routine of the house and dedicate a lot of time to making him feel as comfortable as possible in his brand new forever home. So that's the story behind Dozer and why I haven't been posting on my YouTube channel uh, for a number of weeks now. And in that time, I actually started to think I was gonna have to um, take a hold on the hobby and um, I was actually considering selling up, selling up the entire fish room, uh, all my stock. Uh, I do know it sounds dramatic, uh, but the first few weeks of having Dozer in the house, uh, the first two to three weeks were quite a challenge, even though he's a fantastic dog. I did actually consider returning him to the trainer uh, for a short period of time there, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Um, trying to run the YouTube channel and maintain uh, the fish room uh, obviously, there's a lot of work involved in maintaining the fish room. Um, I wanted to dedicate my time to, the, to this guy and making him feel as comfortable as possible in this house. And because of that, I was finding I wasn't spending enough time in the fish room and um, ensuring that they were okay. Uh, thankfully, I didn't have any losses in the fish, but I did seriously consider giving up the hobby and selling everything up. But talking to family and friends uh, about the situation, uh, all of them pretty much said, don't give up on the hobby. Uh, obviously, I've put in a lot of time and a big investment into building that fish room um, and getting it to the point where it's at now. And, um, and obviously, I'm getting a return on that investment, uh, which is fantastic. So it would really be silly to throw all that away. And over the last few weeks now, I've really gotten into the routine and rhythm with this dog and uh, everything is working out perfectly. So... Uh, there was a few teething problems uh, the first few weeks, but everything is fine now. But even now, I'm even finding time to record videos again for you guys. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, and the dog is fantastic. As you saw, uh, I'm filming this video with him in the room and he is not yappy. He's not at my feet trying to, um, you know, get attention or whatever. He's just fast asleep and um, he's letting me film this video. So uh, finally been able to get my routine back to um, some normality uh, with the added bonus of having a dog in the house. So it's fantastic. Um, and I'm finally able to record videos again. So I'm really pleased about that. 
So what does the future hold for the YouTube channel? Well, to be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm gonna be able to post weekly videos anymore. Uh, there is just so many things to do and uh, something has to give. And again, it is gonna be, unfortunately, the YouTube channel. I really do appreciate everyone's support over the years. And I will still be posting YouTube videos, don't get me wrong. They will still, there will still be monthly updates about what's happening in the fish room, what I'm doing, and uh, tutorials. They just won't be every single Tuesday. Now, thinking about the publishing times or when my videos will come out, obviously they won't be weekly anymore, but I think I will stick to the Tuesday, 7 a.m. Sydney, Australia time uh, for publishing publication of those videos just for simplicity for you guys. Now I know a lot of YouTube channels say this but I recommend that you click on the notification bell so you get notified about when I have published a video. Again that just won't be weekly anymore. Sorry guys I just don't have the time uh, but I wanted to get this video out uh, to you guys because you deserve to know what's been going on, uh, where I've been and what the future holds for the YouTube channel. But yeah, there you have it guys, that's what's been going on. I really hope you understand why I have stopped producing weekly content. It's just too difficult at the moment. And maybe in the future we will return to weekly content, but at the moment it's gonna be semi-regular. But again, I'll be sticking to that Tuesday 7 a.m. publishing time if I do publish a video. Once again, I apologize for the lack of videos over the last few weeks, but I hope you understand. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.